Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm filming a haul I got for my birthday. First of all, I did my nose again. Excuse this one. I literally broke it because I won some Rare Beauty makeup the other day and I was so excited that I broke my freaking out. So <laughs> today, I did some damage because today is my birthday. I am 20 years old, so the big 2-0. I'm not a teen no more. <laughs> just kidding but um yeah so i went to sephora i bought some rare beauty almost like literally every single thing that they own i have a shopping problem it's really bad <laughs> also i want to say thank you so much for 403 subscribers last time i checked thank you so so much i appreciate it so much so glad that everybody likes my videos um i know a lot of you are from like different fandoms different things different interests um also ariana abel makeup record type of video so i appreciate every single one of you even if you don't watch this video it's on your tea thank you for being supportive now we're gonna get started because i'm already a minute in and i haven't shown anything i love rare beauty if you don't know rare beauty it's selena gomez's selena gomez is that how you say that okay it's <laughs> it's a makeup line by selena gomez it's just amazing if you haven't checked out rare beauty definitely check it out it's available at sephora or on rarebeauty.com not sponsored just really love this brand but uh, i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got today like i said i love this brand so so much they're awesome they're really cool <laughs> but yeah so the first thing i got was this blot and glow kit touch up kit oh my god i was reading it in like french um i got this blot oh my god I can't even talk. Blot and Glow Touch Up Kit. I cannot remember what the prices were for the Oh, excuse this is nail polish underneath. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I cannot think um, how much these were. So I'm going to put the prices somewhere on the screen. Maybe if I'm not lazy. Let's see. This is the compact kit. It comes in all this nice packaging. I opened most of this already. So, but here is the compact kit. It says Rare Beauty. When you open it up, it comes with a hundred sheets of blotting paper and a, it has literally powder infused puff, which I didn't know that. And I was like literally touching this. Yeah, not good. But you can buy, rebuy both of these if you like need to. Um, sorry. <laughs> you can rebuy both of these. And I love this so much. I use the blotting papers already and they're awesome. I have like combo skin, so I definitely need stuff like this. This is not an order, by the way. This is just what I bought. The next thing I bought was this Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. This is basically, it says a glow boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes skin. Um, this is basically a setting spray, <laughs> just to sum that up. Um, I love setting spray. I don't know if it does anything really, but I feel like it does. I'm going to try this one, and I'm excited too. It smells really good. This is the packaging. Um, Rare Beauty packaging is very simple, if you haven't noticed that, but I do enjoy it. It's really nice and handy. So this is that, and here is the pump to it. Very, very nice, simple pump. So I do love this. I cannot wait to try this setting mist. A makeup sponge. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Multitasking Sponge. Basically says it has a diamond-shaped tip for precise application and customizable coverage. Um, yeah, so this is a sponge. I've heard mixed reviews about this, but I wanted to try it myself. My sister has this and she likes it. So it is very like squishy. Um, and it has this diamond tip. So I'm excited to try that. That should be good for obviously underneath your eye. So now continuing, this is the new collection that Rare Beauty just came out with. It's called the Stay Vulnerable Collection. Um, they have, it's a set, it's like a three piece collection. It contains um, a cream blush, a liquid eyeshadow, and a like lip gloss basically. I already am wearing one of the shades. I'm wearing Nearly Neutral on my cheeks and my eye. Um, I changed my lip, but I'm wearing the shade Nearly Neutral and I fell in love with it so much that I decided to get another shade today. And I got the Nearly Ap um, Apricot shade, Apricot, Apricot, I don't know how you would say that. <laughs> But I got that, and this is the gloss. I already put this on. Oh my god, the swatches are so bad, sorry. <laughs> it's right here, but it has a doe foot applicator. This is the packaging, by the way. It has a doe foot applicator, as you can see. So great. I love this. The glosses are very, very nice. They're basically um, a glossy lip balm. So it does have the moisture of a lip balm, basically, um, but it still has the pigment and stuff of a gloss really comfortable it's not sticky it got the liquid eyeshadow in the shade nearly apricot and this eyeshadow is so pretty this is it blended out right here 
super nice the one i'm wearing is more of a brown tone and this one to me is um like you know a peachy tone like an apricot <laughs> but this is also the same doe foot basically the same doe foot applicator as you could see so we love that this is the liquid touch foundation brush i've heard so many good reviews about this um i want to try it myself i usually use sponges for my foundation but i really want to try a brush just i i want to see i don't want to let my product to absorb so much so i kind of want to switch to a brush a little but i'm like on the fence brushes are kind of like hit and miss for me to be real but this is the foundation brush very very nice bristles super soft it's not dense but it's not too like all over the place that makes sense and it is pretty weighty which is enjoyable so i do enjoy that <laughs> obviously <laughs> continue with the brush is still i did get this also came out with the stay vulnerable collection this is the stay vulnerable brush all over eyeshadow and it fell this is the eyeshadow brush this is the eyeshadow brush to blend out the um liquid eyeshadow i just use my fingers for the other shade i used but i really want to try this brush because this would be handy when i do put acrylics on um this might be easier than my finger so because i don't want to like hurt myself <laughs> but this is the brush the bristles are also kind of the same thing so next i picked up this i love eyeliner um i am a huge eyeliner like junkie it's kind of like one of my signature looks red lipstick and black eyeliner is just like my thing i will buy multiple even if i already have one i love like i just so obsessed but i had to try this i heard this is a really good matte liquid liner most of the black liners sometimes are shiny which sucks because who really wants that some people do but i don't so i heard this is really good this is her perfect strokes eyeliner obviously it's in the shade black there's only one shade which is black but this is what it looks like i think it's really good it's really nice um like pen type of liner instead of a brush i don't really use pen liners only because i feel like they don't i feel like they kind of dry out faster than um like a brush would i usually use brushes i heard this one's so good so i had to give it a chance i forgot to show this <laughs> So this is also part of the Stay Vulnerable Collection. This is the last thing. This is the melting blush they just came out with. I am wearing the Nearly Neutral melting blush today. But like I said, I got the, Ap um, the apricot shade today. So this is the apricot one. This is the component that the blush is in. It's the cream blush, basically. I just have another bl a liquid blush called Soft Pinch. That one is the one where you see where people put multiple dots on and they found out they added, like, they added too much and it looks like a mess. I did that too. But um, this is the cream blush in the shade Nearly um, Apricot. And this one, you can add multiple layers and it will build. Like this is the buildable one. The other one's kind of like, okay, one dot and it works for your whole face. This one you can build up. And all of these do come with a mirror, which I think is so handy. I love this. And this is the component once again. So yeah, I do love this. So continuing the blush route, blush, um, like formula there we go this is the soft pinch matte liquid blush in the shade love um because i literally cannot find bliss anywhere <laughs> but i found the shade love and this is the second one i wanted this is the shade it's basically like a terracotta red almost um i feel like it would look good but this one yeah this is what it looks like on my finger this one you can put one dot and it will cover your whole cheek so use lightly <laughs> use lightly this is also like a doe foot applicator so all right so the last two things are lip products i am wearing one of them right now i will just talk about that one first i have her lip souffle matte lip creams this is basically a cream um liquid lipstick it's the packaging and this is in the shade transform she does have a brighter red shade called inspire but i'm more into the deeper red instead of the lighter red so that's why i picked this one up but here is the packaging for this and here is the doe foot which i think is beautiful i am wearing the shade right now this is the type of red i love it matches like my nails this is the type of red i'm all for here's a swatch it's not good but it's a swatch last but not least is my last um lip souffle shade and this is in the shade courage and i don't know if you noticed but the whole rare beauty line is like all about positivity so um a lot of the shade names are positive <laughs> obviously so then this is the courage shade as you can see kind of like a mauve neutral i don't really know what you would call this <laughs> but here is that one the foot and this is what it looks like swatched 
I can't wait for this. Both of these I would use with a liner just because they're cream, especially the red because red does tend to like um, leak out of the lip line. Um, any red really kind of does that. So, but yeah, that was my whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I love everything I got. I'm so happy that I got to just treat myself. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, thank you guys so much for 100, 100, 400 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. I did go to a local record store as well. And I did pick up a few used records, like two new ones as well. I know you guys would want to see that. So I'm definitely going to show you guys that video probably another time in the future. <laughs> next week, something, who knows. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.